A day can start off beautifully, but in a matter of a few hours can turn ugly due to severe weather. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and windstorms are among the most devastating forces of nature. In the span of less than eight seconds, a bank ATM camera catches this conventional house flying apart. USA Today reported that when Hurricane Charlie hit Florida, it did $11 billion in property damage. Conventional construction and older mobile homes were destroyed by Charlie. But newer manufactured homes survived right next door to mobile homes and conventional construction that were severely damaged or destroyed. Millions would be more likely to buy an appealing modern manufactured home because they're greener, have lower utility bills and maintenance costs, and are often one-third to one-half lower in price than conventional construction. Because millions incorrectly think factory-built homes aren't as safe or durable as stick-built houses constructed on site, they fail to seriously consider the manufactured home option. Listen to what some of the actual owners of 1,600 manufactured homes that survived a direct impact by Hurricane Charlie said after that devastating storm. We survived Hurricane Charlie. We survived Hurricane Charlie better than most. For over 20 years, manufactured homes in Florida and other parts of the U.S. were built and installed to much higher standards. Wind Zone 2 and Wind Zone 3 manufactured homes are designed to withstand hurricane force winds. Let's hear from the owners of these tough yet beautiful homes that survived Hurricane Charlie. Words can't tell how we felt to see our friends' homes gone. And uh, we had to park up front because we couldn't get through the roads. And we made our way back to our home and uh, was surprised. We walked in and it looked like uh, we never left it. I just can't say enough about the new structure of these homes compared to some of even the stick built and regular homes. Uh, this home, home held up very well. We're happy with it. We uh, experienced Hurricane Charlie in a big way. The fortunate part, and the unfortunate part, was we left our manufactured home and felt we were going to higher, safer grounds. An antique mall about two miles from us, some 50 years it's been standing. We were totally wrong. The roof above us collapsed and my wife and my mother-in-law and two other people were nearly killed. Next morning we came to Ventura Lakes and the home behind me is ours. We'd have been a heck of a lot better to stay put. The manufactured home was uh, built right, and I just I saw it being built at the factory, and I, I really was comfortable in our home, and I'm not worried about it at all. My name is Ruth Ann LaCroix, and Gertrude Mercier, both of us stayed in our home on 4521 Pelican Point Drive in Punta Gorda, Florida, during the hurricane of Charlie. Uh, when the storm was over and we came outside and saw the devastation around us and all the homes that have been damaged, we realized how safe and secure we were with that home. Uh, my wife and I were in Budapest uh, when the Hurricane Charlie hit and uh, we spent a, a anxious probably 24 hours wondering what was going to happen to our house, where are we going to live when we got back home. And uh, much to our surprise, when we got back here, uh, the house, as you can see behind me, is intact. IBHS, the Institute for Insurance, Business, and Home Safety, Hurricane Research Testing Center, and NBC News videos show a conventionally built house collapses under the same 120 mile per hour force winds that a properly installed manufactured home survives. When Hurricane Charlie hit Florida's Gulf Coast in 2004, inspectors found 80% of the damage to manufactured homes was because of those add-ons, like carports or patios. We see wind getting underneath those structures and pushing up. Those forces are tremendous, and they not only tear off that attached structure, they can tear open the in house. In 2013, Moore, Oklahoma was hit by a similarly severe storm. That tornado leveled businesses, schools, and conventional housing. Here's a clip of homeowners whose properly installed modern manufactured homes survived that EF5 tornado. In the recent storm, we was watching the news and we seen that it was coming from the south southwest and uh, we had to get out of here and we had to go get my grandma. 
uh, we left, put the dog in the house and we left and we got my grandma in shelter and we was outside and we could actually watch it go by and it was gigantic. I mean, it was almost solid black. It's and a mile wide. Yeah, it was a mile wide F5, you know. So after it went by, we all got back in the pickup and it was an obstacle course, but we finally got back here, you know. Everything was across the road and we just couldn't hardly get back to our house, but uh, we finally got back in here and uh, we seen all this. Everything's pretty much demolished. Uh, our house was still here, but everything else is gone right here where the tornado went through. When we were able to pull up on our house and finally get close enough, I mean, I just burst into tears because we still have a home. And I think that makes a really big statement. Uh, we had some really good friends behind us and we just got out of the truck and she gave me a huge hug and she said, you still have your home. And like I said, I think that just says a lot. Many times more people died in that tornado who lived in conventional construction than those in manufactured homes. Texas Tech University, using an Air National Guard C-130, tested a single-section manufactured home that had already survived a tornado. Most houses are in the wash of a tornado for only a few seconds, but this manufactured home withstood 105 mile per hour sustained winds for about 28 minutes before a section of the roof blew off. The home was damaged, but it was structurally intact. When you are moving a manufactured home, Keep in mind that you may be moving it for hours or days at 60 miles per hour and bucking winds that are another 20 or 25 miles an hour. That's similar to the wind speeds of a smaller tornado. If you own a manufactured home, make sure that your tie downs are periodically tested. Keep in mind that some deaths are caused by people fleeing their homes, not from people dying in their homes. What the hurricanes of Florida demonstrated to federal officials was that properly installed modern manufactured homes were as safe or safer than conventional on-site built housing. Common sense tells you that buying in bulk and building indoors saves time and money. And building a home designed to be moved clearly requires that the home be stronger than houses that are never intended to be moved. Think about this powerful fact. The odds are 5 to 10 million to 1 in your favor that the resident of a mobile or manufactured home won't die in a tornado in any given year. And someone is 70 times more likely to die in a bathtub than they are likely to die from being killed by a tornado living in a manufactured home. The only completely safe place to be during a tornado is underground. If you can't be underground, a windowless room in your residence is a backup safety option. Today's manufactured homes are stronger, smarter, safer, stylish, and offer major savings compared to conventionally built housing. You cook, clean, eat, live, and love the same in a manufactured home as you do in any other housing. Given that millions want or need more affordable homes, and frugal millionaires are also buying manufactured housing, the manufactured home alternative is just a smart choice to consider. This is LA Tony Kovach with MH Living News for Inside MH.